Hey Frugivore, welcome back to the Frugivore Diet channel. So today's video we are going to react to Kate Flowers and her recent upload, What I Eat in a Day as a Dancer, Sugar Free sugar-free and vegan recipes Kate Flowers. So some of you have suggested this video as a reaction and that's what we're going to do today but before we move forward definitely take a moment now to vote on the video whether it's an up or a down and sometimes YouTube actually takes the votes off the video believe it or not a number of you have actually said that your vote has been taken off the video and you've been unsubscribed so just check that make sure you're subscribed make sure your vote is actually staying on the video and we're going to get into it because it helps to spread the message right so that's what we want to do and I have done a video a couple of videos um, responding to Kate Flowers if you haven't seen those ones check it out on this channel but um this one already red flag huge red flag because it says sugar free all right and that just means satisfaction free you're not going to be satisfied because you are a high sugar animal so where do humans land here's our functional body size and here's our absorptive area. So while eating our greens is important, it appears the natural dietary status of the human species is primarily that of a fruit eater. You are a fruit-based animal, which means a lot of glucose, fructose coming into your body, right? That's what the trillions of cells in your body actually run on. So if you want to take most of the fuel out of your body, then you're not going to be, you're not going to have the energy, right? It's just like taking the fuel out of your car, taking the petrol, the gas, whatever, out of the car and expecting it to run as normal, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. And it only comes from those who are not educated in how the human frugivore works, right? But anyway, let's get into it. Let's see exactly what Kate is eating in a day as a dancer. Hey, Kate. Hi guys, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video and I promise I will be making a video soon explaining a little bit more about that and what's been going on. She, she sounds a little bit depressed or something. I don't know, very like quiet and hey, I don't know what's going on there. Well, I, I mean, I would be too if I was sugar free. <laughs> That's for sure, I would be feeling real low. On with me. But for today, I really wanted to share with you a what I eat in a day video as a dancer who is constantly trying to get back in shape I'll be okay so she said as a dancer who is constantly trying to get back in shape she's been like plant-based for a while now so I'm surprised you know I'm surprised that she still has not figured it out but the rain is coming a little bit here um, she still hasn't figured it out you know as you can see I've been effortlessly in shape for over a decade because I, I educated myself right I educated myself and I know how to eat for my species. And as you can see in nature, every animal that is eating its species specific diet, or at least close to, is effortlessly lean, effortlessly in shape. And she's actually spoken about it in the past when she was doing like a raw food or mostly raw, you know, fruit based diet. She was finding it easy to stay in shape. So it's just kind of like. And then in January, as a lot of you know, I went raw just straight up 30 day raw challenge like let's make this happen like i wanted to try something different because i knew that even in the beginning of this whole journey that two weeks of raw made me feel amazing i dropped weight naturally i just felt really really good and so that was five months ago and i now weigh about 103 to 105 pounds somewhere in there i feel amazing i still eat a lot of food eating 100 percent raw really really changed things for me i'm just surprised she still struggles to stay in shape but in the last videos we did see that she was under eating and now she's going sugar-free so you can see that this is the reason that she's still struggling because she doesn't get it we'll be sharing more about that process with you soon too so this morning i made a smoothie and i have decided to do a little refined oh no only one little banana went in there did you see that the bag got put to the side the majority got to put to the side. See, I would be putting that whole bag in. And now she's going to something else which is less optimal for her health. Sugar-free cleanse. So I am still having a little bit of fruit, but absolutely no. So now she's going, she's doing a cleanse, a sugar-free cleanse. These cleanses, it's like a, a fuel-free, like a, like a 
energy free cleanse. You know what I mean? <laughs> the sugar is actually your friend. I mean, I'm not saying go and just pack in refined sugar, you know, everything. That's where you get your sugar from. Obviously, that's not optimal, but it's still better than you having like a whole lot of processed, you know, pro high protein, high fat foods. So no refined sugar at all. It's been interesting so far. Yeah, but she said no refined sugar at all, but she's also restricting her fruit intake. You can see that. So Vivo Life plant-based omega-3. Please don't take this. Please do not take this rubbish. You do not need it. Okay. Just reduce the amount of omega-6s. All right. You don't need to take any supplement if you're eating enough fresh whole fruits and veggies. I'm adding some omega-3 drops to this smoothie from Vivo Life. I've been using Vivo Life products for the last two years. I really, really love them. But like, why do you love them? I mean, how can you love an oil? Do you know what I mean? Highly recommend them for anyone who's looking for a good vegan protein powder or for really high quality liquid supplements. This is obviously a sales spiel right now. And you know how I feel about this. You do not have to take these supplements. So she is actually replacing real whole food nutrition with these refined cooked powders. Okay. And it's full of just old stuff basically and you often get too much of something because it's concentrated too much protein that's for sure you do not need a lot of protein so yeah she just just doesn't have a clue after all these years still they are my absolute favorite out of anything i've tried so far uh, so i will link them down below for you if you want to check them out and i well, will leave a discount code for that as well uh, yeah of course you will. also well, in the smoothie as always, all right so half a frozen banana she didn't even have oh gosh she did not even have a whole banana this is extremely sad and half an avocado wow so you can see here that this is a high fat high stimulant she's got the cacao powder and you might be like oh it's just a tablespoon that's actually a lot and this is a, a strong stimulant it has caffeine in it as well um don't fool yourself and chocolate protein we don't know what's in that right more cacao chocolate um hemp seeds vanilla extract vanilla extract not a big deal peanut butter okay so she's got one scoop of peanut butter unsweetened almond milk wow it's a very high fat higher protein low sugar there you go low fruit low energy smoothie to start the day it's a shocker hard on digestion very hard takes a lot of energy away from your digestion to process this away from your body to process this in your digestion. i have some spinach some hemp seeds frozen banana i also have oh. frozen avocado in there and a well seriously having a roasted peanut butter Roasted peanuts for breakfast is not sure it might taste yummy, but that is not going to give you great energy. That is for sure. And it's going to interrupt the flow of sugar into your cells. A large spoonful of peanut butter. That's my peanut butter dance. Damn, that is it. That is it for breakfast. This is not a lot of calories. This is not a lot of real nutrition. You know, a lot of processed stimulants, high fat, high protein, roasted peanuts. Um, hopefully it's organic. Hopefully the peanuts are organic because of the glyphosate risk. Meal is definitely a large green smoothie. That is not large. First thing in the morning. What's For this? me, mornings are a really sacred and special. Okay, so it's sacred and special because she has the um, the drug ritual going on here. Time of the day. You can see it that. Prepares you for the entire day. That that looked like some rich coffee there, but maybe it's not coffee. But what else could it be? Day ahead of you, you can wake up feeling good or bad, but you always have the decision to do something to change your mood, to start your day on the right foot. To change your mood, yeah, to take drugs. Drugs will help change your mood. Caffeine will help change your mood. We know that, right? Because it is a psychoactive stimulant. So she's using this to change her mood. You know, you, you don't want to be hooked on drugs. You don't want to have, you know what I mean? Something that is going to change the way your brain functions and your body functions. Be forced into that in order for you to feel like you can start your day. You know what I mean? And it's just a clear indication that she has a deficient diet, that she is like propped up on this drug. She's not having real food for um, 
to break the fast, she's having drugs and powders and, you know. But you have not been taking at least 20 or 30 minutes for yourself in the morning. I highly, highly recommend you set aside that time because... And the way I feel about ballet is like, it just ruins bodies. It ruins women's bodies and men, I guess, as well. It's good that she's moving her body, but it's not really too strenuous, right? Um, and that's because she's not having a lot of sugar to power, you know, something a little bit more intense. Just having a little mango snack. And this one is called, the variety is called coconut cream. I got it. I know it, it's delicious, but is she only having half a mango? Tell me, this is not true. This is the individual who used to eat a lot of fruit and you claim it was like amazing and that kept her in shape and everything. And now she's eaten half a mango. What happened to Kate Flowers? What happened to what I thought she had some education, but it doesn't appear so. Got it locally in a small fruit farm here. And let me just tell you, it's probably the best mango I've ever had in my life. You know why? Because when you are restricting your fruit and your sugar intake, when you do have sugar, when you do have fruit, you're like, it tastes extra good because the brain is like, yes, you have got what we need. Get more of it. You know, that's like an incentive, that good uh, tasting flavor, you know, it's incentive to eat more. Having a Buddha bowl slash salad type of meal, chickpeas, mm. quinoa, lettuce, avocado, some veg. Wow. So there's not a lot of sugar again. And you might be like, wow, well, it's plant-based and that's great and everything, but you, you need to get this, okay? You need to really get this. I know a lot of you do, but you really need to get this if you don't get this, okay? This, these foods that she's having, chickpea, um, quinoa, the greens, the avocado, they're all low in sugar. And this is part of what she's doing, right? Sugar-free recipes. But this is where the satisfaction is missing, Okay, so she can eat this, but she will just be, because her human frugivore brain runs on the glucose and the fructose, she's just going to be completely unsatisfied and she will end up binging out. And that's why her weight goes up and down. And that's my, why my weight, eating all the sugar I care for, has been stable for over a decade. Jeez. It's pretty boring, um, <laughs> just to be honest with you. I know it yep. doesn't look very exciting, but I mean... There you go. It's pretty boring. I don't think I've ever said that about a meal that I eat because <laughs> it's just freaking exciting. It's amazing. It's satisfying. It's, oh, you know, sweet. Don't eat boring meals. Say no to boring food. Make it. Okay. So she's got this sauce here, two tablespoons of tahini. That's a lot. Okay. Tablespoon of coconut aminos. I think that's quite high in sodium garlic powder. What about what about actual fresh garlic? Uh, you know, add squeeze of lime, lemon, mix into a paste. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of fat in that one. It just needs a good sauce. You can really turn anything fulfilling and exciting. There needs to be a sweet element or there's gonna be some serious binging. So the calorie count for now, at, at the beginning, the, uh, the smoothie thing is probably, I don't know, 400 calories or so. She had the coffee as well, um, but she had milk with the coffee or maybe she could be up to 500 for that. And this bowl, you know, there's a lot of green here. There's a lot of salad, which is hardly any calories. And it was a small ser serve of quinoa. There was that big hit of tahini. So, you know, she might be around the 400 here. Probably a bit under a thousand at this point. So she'd be hungry for sure. As a snack, I'm having celery. With oh, thank fruit. It is organic, right? So it doesn't have the glyphosate contamination from Monsanto. Um, but at the same time, it could be cross-contaminated, but it's, and it's also roasted. Okay. It's, it's not good for the oils when you roast them they become rancid it's not good for your body to take that in okay it's really not health giving peanut butter if it's been a while since you've had this or if you've never had this i highly recommend it because it's a very very um but look at this point she needs fresh fruit right it's very obvious she doesn't need more fat she's having a lot of these peanut butters and nut you know nut butters tahini all this like fatty nut butters yeah sure they're yummy but they're not good fuel they are simply not good fuel take butter jar and it yeah, also she's really hungry so she's going for this concentrated source of calories rather than going for fresh whole fruits right now she's going for this like real like she's hungry right because it's very dense in calories all right guys for dinner we all right so she's already on to dinner so i would say she's probably up to about 
1100 calories maybe we're making a tex-mex sort of bowl with crispy tofu starting with sauteing some onions okay but the most exciting part about this recipe just five minutes even tofu then you're gonna take some tapioca flour flour you can also use cornstarch okay. mixture stuff and then just toss them around it's always great to see tofu instead of an animal right but like kate is plant-based so we expect to see that um but yeah tofu there's not a lot of like usable until nutrition. fully coated then you'll just put some oil into a nonstick pan oh okay so it's quite a bit of oil there as well it's not deep frying which is great but I saw, you know, it's splashing. It's splashing there. The lamp oil is in the fry pan and now the tofu is going to absorb up the lamp oil. Let it heat up a little and toss your little squares in. That is wow. all. That's quite a bit of oil. I'm adding some black beans to so my- So you can see she's having a high fat, high protein diet here with um, not enough calories, okay? So it's a calorie restrictive, high fat, high protein uh, plant-based diet. This is not recommended, okay? This is what makes you feel really unsatisfied and this is what makes people go back to eating animal bits and pieces because they're like, I don't, you know, feel that good. I don't have much energy. What's wrong with me? My hair's fallen out. You know what I mean? Like I've got deficiencies or whatever, which you would have on any diet if you under eat and you don't meet your nutritional needs. We are high glucose fructose animals. So she's got a deficiency here, namely in glucose and fructose in particular. Onion mixture, some more spices, chipotle powder, garlic powder, and tofu cubes. Whoa. Then after a couple of minutes, you will want to toss over your little tofu cubes. Oh wow, that's burnt. So she's burning the tofu as well. I mean, like, I, I really recommend against burning your food. It becomes carcinogenic. It's, wow. And so they get kind of crispy and golden on each side. Girl, that's not golden. That's black. And then I just chopped up some lettuce, added in my black bean mixture. Very aesthetic video. I know she put some effort into this and um, that's always great. You know, she's putting the effort in, but I think it's been months since she made a video. So it's probably better to just get out the video, you know, in lesser quality, you know, at least to be more frequent with uploads. So you, your viewers actually see you more frequently. Sure. I was caught in that that kind of quality trap as well. And it just long term doesn't work. Crispy tofu, which is so good. You have to try it. Add Where's in it a little comes? bit more salsa, what? some organic brown rice, a little bit of lime. Well, wow, and... it's a tiny bowl. This is a tiny amount. I, I'm sad for Kate. I'm literally sad for Kate that she feels like she has to eat this little in order to get lean long term. Cream. Oh gosh. Thick vegan sour cream. There she goes again with the fat. The excess fat is just crazy. Um, sister, this is going to make you like store this excess fat, which is not readily used as energy by the body. Why would you not give your body the energy that it requires? Like just straight away, fruit just pops it right in there for you. And some avocado as well, but if you want that. Okay, so she's got a big whack of avocado. sour cream recipe. Just follow my freedom food link. Okay, so sure, this might be like, you know, aesthetic food and all that sort of thing, but you need to break it down into what it really is. And it's not a lot of sugar. There's not a lot of glucose. There's not a lot of energy. There's sure there's some brown rice, a small amount, okay? Maybe this bowl might be around, yeah, she could have got to like 600 calories or so with this, maybe um, 700, I don't know. You know, she could be around like the 1600, 1700 calorie for the whole day. She might be kind of aiming for that, you know, she's aiming for that under eating because she wants to lose weight for, to be a ballerina. But sister, you know what works? You can see it clearly on me a decade later constantly the same weight okay so i think that is it right but she would have really wanted something sweet she would have wanted something sweet at the end of this meal for sure because she hasn't had a lot of like sweetness right what has she had she had a half a banana she had like a, a cheek of a mango and not a lot of like yeah i'm just thinking like yeah some quinoa some brown rice but those foods, those grains are not going to give you that 
fructose hit that you really, really need. And that's why a lot of these individuals who do like starch solution and stuff like that, they're also having refined sugar because they need the sweetness, right? The starches are not good enough because we are fruit based animals. We're not starch based animals. So anyway, it's too much fat, too much protein. Um, I'm very surprised that she does not get it at this point that she does not realize that she needs to eat more volume of fruit, of sugar, of the sweet stuff in order to fuel her body correctly. So she feels great. She stays on the plan. She exercises. She feels fantastic to move her body. Um, and then she gets the results that she desires long term. But she keeps jumping all up and down like right for years for years and years. Kate, please just educate yourself in optimal human nutrition and you will come back to a fruit-based diet and lifestyle. You said raw makes you feel the best, right? That's what you said. Now you're back to cooked. It's like the day is pretty cooked, right? So I don't know. I think she's very confused. She's very confused and yeah, she wants to promote protein powers as well. But anyway, it was a, a good aesthetic video. I would give her kudos for that but she is advertising a low satiation diet like an unsatisfying way to follow a plant-based diet for the human frugivore you're not going to be satisfied eating this way and a lot of people may go back and we definitely don't want that we want to keep individuals plant-based for life and vegan for life all right that's my video for today don't forget to go fruit yourself and i'll talk to you soon